hello everyone good evening so here we shall solve some kcet previous year questions on the chapter sequences and series so any doubts if you have in any steps then please write that in the comment section we shall clarify them in the subsequent videos and in any other chapter of maths if you have more more difficulty then please mention the name of that chapter also in the comment section and uh, um, uh, so so that we can give more priority on it and solve more and more questions on that chapter and also some Im important homework questions will be uploaded in the sapiens education application uh, so please install our sapiens education application whose link has been provided in the description so here in the first question it is told that if log x by a minus b that is equal to log y by b minus c that is equal to log z by c minus a then we have to find the value of x y z <coughs> so let this be equal to some constant k suppose say so then therefore we can say that log x will be equal to k times a minus b so it means x we can write it as that will be so if i consider the base to be to be 10 so that will be 10 power k a minus b so similarly similarly we can say that y will be equal to 10 power k times b minus c and z will be equal to 10 power k minus k times c minus a so therefore x y z that will be equal to 10 power k a minus k b times 10 power k b minus k c times 10 power k c minus k a so therefore if we add the exponents this will be k a k a minus k b plus k b minus k c plus k c minus k a so all will get cancelled and this will be 10 power 0 which is equal to 1 so option 2 is the correct answer then here we have to find the value of 0 0.5737373 and so on so this can be written as 0 0.5 plus 0 0.073 plus 0 0.00073 and so on so this will be 0 0.5 plus this will be 73 by 1000 means 73 by 10 power 3 plus this is 73 by 10 power 5 mm, plus this will be 73 by 10 power 7 and so on it will go till infinity So therefore from here if we take 73 by 10 power 3 as common then this will come 1 plus 10 power minus 2 means 1 by 10 power 10, uh, 1 by 10 power 2 plus 1 by 10 power 4 so 10 power minus 4 plus then till infinity so this is an infinite gp so this is an infinite gp with having the first term is having the first term as 1 and the common ratio is 10 power minus 2 so we know that sum of an infinite gp that is given as a by 1 minus r so this will be 0 0.5 plus 73 by 10 power 3 into a a which is 1 1 by 1 minus r which is 10 power minus 2 so this will be equal to 0 0.5 plus 73 by 10 power 3 times 1 by 1 minus 0 0.01 so this will be 0 0.99 so this will be uh, 0 0.5 plus 73 by 10 power 3 into this will be uh, 99 by 10 power 2 so this will be 10 power 2 by 99 so this will come so 0 0.5 plus 73 by 990 
so this we have to add so 5 by 10 plus 99 by sorry 5 by 10 plus 73 over 73 by 990 so then the LCM is 990 and this will come 99 times 5 99 to 5 plus 73 and this will be 5 minus of 45 5 minus of 45 49 plus 73 by 990 so this will be equal to 8 then Nine plus seven that is sixteen. Five sixty-eight by nine hundred ninety. So if we simplify it, then we will get two to the four. Two to the sixteen to four to the eight, and then two four to the eight. Two nine to the eighteen to five to the ten. So it is two hundred eighty-four divided by four hundred ninety-five. So option two is the correct answer. then here it is told to find the sum to infinity of the progression 9 minus 3 plus 1 minus 1 by 3 plus till infinity that is how much so this is also an infinite gp since we can write this 9 plus 9 times minus 1 by 3 then plus this is 9 times minus 1 by 3 whole square then plus this is 9 times minus 1 by 3 whole cube plus till infinity so this is also an infinite gp with first term first term is 9 and the common ratio is minus 1 by 3 so therefore its sum sum of an infinite gp that is given as a by 1 minus r so this will be a 9 by 1 minus minus 1 by 3 so this will be 9 by 1 plus 1 by 3 which is 4 by 3 so this will be 327 by 4 so this will be equal to 4 6 or 24 okay so this is 27 over 4 27 by 4 so option 3 is the correct answer then here you have to find out the value of x so this is log log 2 base 4 plus log 4 base 4 plus log 16 base 4 plus log x base 4 that is equal to 6 then we have to find the value of x so therefore here this one is uh, so 4 power half is 2 since square root of 4 is 2 so this will be half plus this is 1 plus this is 4 4 is 16 so this is 4 square is 16 so this will be 2 plus log x base 4 that is equal to 6 now this is in AP so 3 plus half so log x base 4 that is equal to 6 minus 3 minus half so this will be log x base 4 that is equal to 3 minus half that is 2 and half so x will be equal to 4 raised to the power 2 and half raised to the power 2 and half so this will be 4 square times 4 power half so x will be equal to 4 for the 16 16 times 4 power half is 2 so that is 32 so x is equal to 32 so option 1 is the correct answer then here it is told if the middle term of the ap is 300 then the sum of its first 51 terms is so for 51 if there are 51 terms then the middle term is the middle term is the 51 plus 1 by 2th term 51 plus 1 by 2th term that is that is the uh, 52 by 2 that is the 26th 26th term now therefore here it is given the therefore the 
middle term is given as 300 so it means that 26 term which is 8 826 that is 300 so then we have to find the sum of the 51 term so s51 we have to find so s51 that is equal to n by 2 sn we know sn is n by 2 into uh, 2a plus n minus 1 into d so now a26 okay so this will be 2a plus 51 minus 1 into d so this will be 51 into this will be a plus so 50 by 2 that is 49 sorry 50 by 2 that is 25 d a plus 25 d so a plus 25 d is nothing but a26 means it is the 26 term so it is 51 times a26 so this will be 51 into 300 so that will be equal to 313 3, 3, 5, 15 so 15300 so option a is the correct answer then here it is told that if a1 a2 a3 until a10 is in a geometric progression so it is in geometric progression and a3 by a1 equals to 25 then a9 by a5 that equals to how much so now so this is in geometric progression so we know that a n means the nth term of a G of a gp that is given as a r power n minus 1 where a is the first term it means i can write it as a1 times r power n minus 1 so now therefore a3 that will be equal to a1 times r power 2 so therefore a3 by a1 that is equal to r square that is given as 25 so r will be equal to 5 r is equal to 5 and also a9 by a5 that is equal to a9 is a1 into r power 8 divided by a1 into r power 4 so that is uh, a1 a1 will cancel so that is r power 4 which is equal to 5 power 4 so 5 power 4 so option c is the correct answer then here it is told if f of x that is equal to 1 plus nx plus n into n minus 1 by 2 into x square plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 6 into x cube plus dot 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 plus x power n then f double dash 1 that is how much now therefore f double dash so f dash x first we have to find f dash x is n plus n into n minus 1 plus this will be 3x square so this is n into n minus 1 to n minus 2 by 2 that is x square and this will be x here plus dot 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 plus n into x power n minus 1 and similarly f double dash n x that will be equal to n into n minus 1 plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into x plus this will be n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 by so this will be actually equal to uh, by 4 factorial means 4 into 3 into 2 so this will be 4x cube here with 3 factorial so by 2 into x square Actually here, this one we can say that here uh, 
f of x this can be written as this is nothing but nc0 plus nc1 x plus nc2 x square plus nc3 x cube like that and plus nc n x power n so therefore f of x is nothing but 1 plus x whole power n now therefore f dash x that will be equal to n into 1 plus x whole power n minus 1 into d by dx of 1 plus x is also 1 similarly so f double dash x that will be equal to n into n into n minus 1 into 1 plus x whole power n minus 2 now therefore f double dash 1 so that will be equal to n into n minus 1 into 2 power n minus 2 n into n minus 1 into 2 power n minus 2 so option d is the correct answer then we have to find the nth term of this series so this is 1 plus 3 by 7 plus 5 by 7 square plus I can write 7 by 7 cube plus this will be 9 by 7 power 4 and so on we have to find the nth term of this series so here this is the so this is 1 by 7 power 0 I can say so this is the first term this is the second term a2 so therefore the second term is nothing but the second odd number which is 2 into 2 minus 1 divided by 7 power 2 minus 1 so therefore a3 that is again 2 into 3 minus 1 by 7 power 3 minus 1 so similarly therefore the nth term that will be equal to 2 into n minus 1 by 7 power n minus 1 so this will be 2 n minus 1 by 7 power n minus 1 2n minus 1 by 7 power n minus 1. Okay, so option C is the correct answer. If it is told P time P into 1 by Q plus 1 by R and Q into 1 by R plus 1 by P and R into 1 by P plus 1 by Q R in AP then PQR R. So we have to find if they are in AP or not and if they are in GP or not. So if these two are in AP, then therefore I can say, so the rule is that if A, B, C are in AP, A, B, C are in AP, then that means twice of B, that will be equal to A plus C. So therefore I can tell 2Q into 1 by R plus 1 by P, that should be equal to P into 1 by Q plus 1 by R plus R into 1 by P plus 1 by Q. So then this will be 2q by r plus 2q by p that is equal to p by q plus p by r plus r by p plus r by q. P by Q okay, so here uh, P Q 2 Q by R So these are in AP. So from here I can say 2Q by R minus P by R. That will be equal to R by P minus 2Q by P plus R by Q plus P by Q.
r by q plus p by q okay so this will be i can take 1 by r into 2 q minus p this will be 1 by p into r minus 2 q plus 1 by q into r plus p now here actually what we can do we can so if suppose if p q and r are in g p suppose suppose we assume that then uh, q square will be equal to p into r means that p by q p by q will be equal to q by r and q by p that will be equal to r by q so now therefore uh, and if p q and r are in gp and suppose if i take q as suppose if k is the common ratio or if suppose if x is the common ratio suppose common ratio then uh, q i can write it as px and r i can write it as px square okay so now therefore p by q means p into 1 by q then p into 1 by q plus 1 by r that can be written as p into 1 by px plus 1 by px square that will be 1 by x plus 1 by x square okay and similarly q into 1 by r plus 1 by p that can be written as q which is px px into 1 by px square plus 1 by p so that will be x which is 1 by x plus x And similarly, r into 1 by p plus 1 by q, then that will be equal to r is px square into 1 by p plus 1 by px. And this will be x square plus x. Now, if we add these two means if we add 1 by x plus 1 by x square plus x square plus x we will get 1 x plus 1 by x plus this is uh, x square plus 1 by x square which is x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2 So this is not same as x plus 1 by x. This is not same as 2 into x plus 1 by x. So now if these two, now if we suppose consider, if suppose p, q and r are in a, p, then
just one second. Also, so, so if PQ, then I can say that, uh, so if PQ and R are in AP, then I can say that if Q is P plus D and R is equal to P plus 2D. So it means here it means that P, Q and R are not in GP. P, Q and R are not in GP. And if they are in AP, so then 1 by Q plus 1 by R into P, this will be P into QR by R plus Q. So R plus Q is P into P plus 2D plus P plus D divided by P plus 2D into Okay, so it means that P, Q and R are not in GP. So option B is the correct answer. So hope all of you have understood the solutions of these questions on sequences and series. Uh, still any doubts if you have, then please write that in the comments section. We shall clarify them. And uh, also please install our Sapiens Education application. Uh, where we shall upload some important homework questions based on the previous year KCT exam. So thank you everyone. Bye.